This video demonstrates how to convert 75 kiloliters into centiliters using a proportion. Let's begin by using the prefix table to determine a conversion ratio for kiloliters and centiliters. 0 0.001 kiloliters is equal to 100 centiliters. This strategy we're going to use involves a proportion. A proportion can be represented by two equal fractions, so let's rewrite the conversion ratio as a fraction equal to 1. 0 0.001 kiloliters divided by 100 centiliters is equal to 1, and 100 centiliters divided by 0 0.001 kiloliters is equal to 1. If you're not sure how these conversion ratios were determined, review the conversion ratios video. Now we have two conversion ratios written as fractions equal to 1. We'll decide which one to use a bit later. For now, let's return to the original problem. Our goal is to determine the number of centiliters that are equal to 75 kiloliters. Let x be the number of centiliters, so x centiliters is equal to 75 kiloliters. Again, because we're trying to use a proportion, we'll rearrange this equation into a fraction equal to 1. To do this, we can divide both sides of the equation by 75. The two 75s on the right are reduced, and x kiloliters divided by 75 kiloliters is equal to 1. We also could have divided both sides of the equation by x, but it is usually easiest to keep the unknown in the numerator. Now we have multiple expressions that are equal to 1, so they must also equal each other. To decide which conversion ratio to use, check the location of the units in each equation. The conversion factor on the right has the same units in the numerator and denominator as our equation, so the units of this conversion factor will reduce nicely with the units of the equation. Use these two expressions to write inequality. The x is being divided by 75 kiloliters so multiply both sides of the equation by 75 kiloliters to isolate x. On the left side of the equation, the kiloliter units are reduced, and on the right side, the two 75 kiloliters are reduced. Evaluating the left side of the equation gives 7,500,000, so x is equal to 7,500,000 centiliters. Finally, we'll answer the original problem. 75 kiloliters is equal to 7,500,000 centiliters.